So next topic are the rules and labeling. So uh, if I explain rules, rules preserve a link between the source data and the terrain model so that it can be updated when revisions are made to the source data. For example, file A is your source data and you have referenced the file A into the many different files, such as the file B and file C. If you want to make changes in the source data, you have to go back in the file A and update the changes in the file source file. So it will then reflect all the changes which you have made in file A into the referenced file, which are file B, file C, and so on. So rules preserve a link between the source data and the train models. So also removing rules is also important. So these are the two major points. It improves the performance of the terrain model and is recommended for all the large terrain models. And secondly, it is recommended to remove when sharing a terrain model with non-open roads designer users such as microstation, plant, or building. One very common uh, problem that we run into while editing the terrain model is uh, whenever we select the edit terrain model tool and bring our cursor into the terrain, it will give a prompt that this is not an editable terrain. So for that, it is necessary to remove the rules from the terrain model so it can update and you can edit the terrain model. So I'll quickly jump to the Open Roads Designer. And here, if you want to access the remove rules, the basic option is go to the Open Roads model, geometry, and under the civil toggles, here is the option to remove rules. If you forget it, all you need to do is go into the search option and type remove rules. So as you can see on the first, it will give you the prompt where you can select it. Either you can navigate to the location or you can select it. And also, which is uh, a very fast way to do it, is you can select a the boundary of the train model and you can use the menu. And on the second last option, it gives you the rules. So once you select the rules, the second option is to remove the rules. So I'll select that and I will quickly remove the rules from this corridor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.